uh, Dean Chavez uh, bringing you a tutorial for H2H Helper uh, which is a very nice utility program uh, to play uh, combat mission PBEMs that's play by emails if you don't know it uh, well I take no credit for this uh, utility for this program it's been uh, created and programmed by uh, Martin Gregory, also known as uh, Greenhouse Jade, on the uh, Battlefront uh, forums. And first of all, I'd like to apologize uh, for my English. Uh, this is not my first language. Uh, in fact, I'm French. So, uh, well, sorry uh, in advance for all the mistakes I could uh, do. Okay. Uh, let's go back to our small utility here uh, when you'll get the program it will come as a zip file uh, you'll see the link uh, in the description of this video okay I'll put the link uh, for the last version of uh, PC version and uh, Mac version 2 well once you've downloaded this file, this zip file, okay, you there's an archive. So the only thing you have to do here is to take the H2H helper uh, directory and uh, put it uh, wherever you want, okay. For example, I put mine uh, in C, okay, root, just like uh, barbarian, you know. <laughs> I didn't try to uh, create new uh, uh, directory or anything. I just put the H2H in the in the root, and then I well, I advise you to uh, create a shortcut. Okay, you so here you've got the uh, H2HH dot exe. Uh, right click on it, send to desktop okay create new shortcut your shortcut will be uh, placed here on the desktop I placed mine in the quick uh, quick toolbar here in the toolbar here and I set a new icon for it okay because I didn't like the uh, original icon you created the shortcut now you Click the shortcut, okay, and the program will open. Uh, it's supposed to uh, detect your uh, different installations of, of the game, but uh, well, sometimes it doesn't work, uh, so you can set manually any installation. You can add installation, um, edit installation, or forget installation. So this is uh, well the, the French version, of course. Yours will uh, probably be in English. Um, so if you want to add a game, well, an inst installation, I've got uh, CMBN here, CMFI here, CM Afghanistan here, and uh, Shock Force here. Well, no play in Shock Force. Uh, well, you just go to uh, installation add installation and then you'll have this box here where you can set the name of the installation you can put whatever you want okay, for example then you'll uh, select the root uh, directory that's where you installed a combat mission and here the uh, exe from uh, the exe file okay like combat mission exe in the last field uh, you'll type your uh, Dropbox uh, location okay to show you if I click on edit okay you've got all my parameters for uh, CMBN right here. Okay, so as you can see, there's my root 
uh, directory here the uh, installation exe and here uh, my Dropbox. Alright, so you can do the same for CMFI, CM Afghanistan, CM Shock Force. And it will detect all your plays, all the plays in your incoming and out outgoing files. Here, last option, you can for forget installation or remove the game. Okay, so uh, well, if you don't play uh, Shock Force anymore, you want to remove it, well, you just click forget installation and uh, it will remove the game okay but just from h2h not from your hard drive okay so as you can see i have a few plays here waiting where those ones are <laughs> quite old i wasn't born i guess <laughs> that was a, a test game so it's going kind of uh, bugged but here you can see that I have uh, a play waiting. Okay, this is my turn. You can see the status here. This is the name of the play. Here, this is the status. Okay, my turn or uh, waiting for your opponent. Here, the last uh, the last time you received a file, the number of the file, and the last action made by uh, h2h okay here the last action were was to uh, copy 578 to uh, incoming emails okay and here you've got a few icons uh, well to see if uh, your opponent uses uh, dropbox h2h helper if it's your turn to play and if you've got um, a chat message You'll have the small, uh, you know, the old yellow character from uh, AIM <laughs> from 10 years ago. Uh, so here we can see I have a play, and if I want to chat with my opponent, I just right click on the play, and here I've got a few options. The first one is launch uh, the game. Uh, we'll go through that uh, in a few minutes. Here is uh, to tell H2H that you know that you have an incoming file. So, what remind you every uh, five minutes that you have a game to play. Here you can uh, edit your game, uh, and here is the game chats. Here you can open the game file folder. Here you can write notes about the the play. For example, uh, well, I'm losing. Well, big time. Well, that's not true, but okay. And so it it can help for you to write uh, after action reviews or thing, things like that. Okay. Next um, properties. Okay, so that's game properties. The opponent uses uh, version 2.5.4. Okay, and is on the same you know, time zone as I am. Okay, and here this is to uh, end game. Okay, when the game is done, you just click this and uh, it will end the game. Okay. I should probably uh, stop saying okay, but well, you you make me nervous, guys. Okay, it's my first uh, English speaking video, so well, I hope that you will uh, understand me. Uh, well, let's go back to uh, game chat. Okay, uh, some people argue that uh, well, H two H helper was a nice program, but you can't. Uh, exchange your point of view with your opponent like you can do um, using mails but you can okay you just right click on chat and then as you can see well we can chat <laughs> okay and it's it's uh, well it's a live chat okay almost live um, if I write something here my opponent will see it uh, in a few seconds if he's online. Uh, 
that let's go to the uh, edit game okay here okay this is the name of the game the game uh, directory but this is the Dropbox game directory okay not your incoming or outgoing uh, emails and here the uh, application name uh, go here in case of uh, your game not launching properly okay it happens sometime so you just go there and uh, tell him to go and look for uh, the uh, exit right here okay and here it's my turn to play okay so we'll see how it works let's say I just open H2H helper one funny thing is that there's a small icon here telling me that I have a turn waiting so I know instantly that well something is waiting for me so yes of course uh, Doug Red Blues which is a nice mission of mine well still testing but it's nice I click launch combat mission well hopefully it will work okay yes and here I click on my uh, save games here and as you can see there's my file here all the uh, old files I've got a small symbol in front of them so they come uh, last okay they will come after my actual file to play and then I can uh, fight alright so uh, two or three clicks and you're done you have nothing to do of course H2H helper is better if you use it with uh, Dropbox okay Dropbox is a free uh, file storage we don't need uh, 20 uh, gigas of, of data here okay uh, one or two gigas is uh, enough to play here you can add a game or edit the game or access game chat okay but it's the same as right clicking on the on the play all right options here you can that's uh, automatic updates but it won't update the program okay it will update um, the situation of your games okay it will look every uh, few seconds or every few minutes it will look if you have a new files a new incoming here you can tell it to tidy so it will uh, tidy your incoming and outgoing uh, directories it will erase uh, the old files I would uh, advise you not to click this if you want to keep your files to review them maybe if you want to uh, write or shoot an after action report okay don't click this one but if you like having a full space on your computer when well, you, you click here and it will uh, erase the unnecessary files uh, this is a uh, an option here to uh, go out to get out of, of the program automatically okay well I don't use that here you can set the sounds and flashes this one is to uh, tidy your Dropbox uh, directory okay it's the same as tidy here but for your Dropbox so this one I, I select it I, I I choose to erase uh, the files from Dropbox because I don't need them they will be on my computer this is the Gmail support okay if you don't like using Dropbox etc you can use Gmail instead uh, well 
I must admit uh, that uh, I've never used it. Okay, <laughs> so far, so uh, well, I can't tell you how it works, but apparently it works. And here is the uh, status icon. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. Here, as you can see, the the icon disappeared. So if I want it back, I click, and here, here it is again. Uh, and here is to show uh, the log. Okay, if I click, there's my H2H log. Here you can see all the last events that happened. Okay, uh, game checking, uh, file checking, uh, error log, etc. So if you've got a bug, if something goes wrong, usually you've got a message here, and you can send send it to uh, to uh, Martin. Okay, which leads us to the help. Okay. Here, this is about the file. Okay. Help. This is the uh, the different uh, changes. And here, that's to report a bug. Okay, let's click on it. All right, and here you will be redirected to. Uh, fog bugs <laughs> and here you can uh, write about your problems etc and uh, well Martin should be able to help you uh, within a few um, days let's say I wouldn't say hours because he's, he's quite okay well I guess uh, that's it here you've got the refresh uh, thing, but if you choose to have the uh, auto update, or well, you don't have to click refresh, it will do it um, automatically. Okay. Well, uh, I hope I didn't uh, forget anything. If you've got questions, you can comment the video. If you like it, well, you can click on like you can subscribe if you wish and uh, well I wish you uh, many many games of combat mission um, yes I have to say because I didn't mention it at the beginning this works with the the last generation combat mission okay it won't work with uh, uh, overlord um, Africa Core or uh, the other one, the uh, Barbara said to Berlin. Okay, <laughs> it works with all the uh, the new ones and all the modules. Okay, if you've got uh, Shock Force with all the modules, NATO, British, etc., it works. Uh, it works with uh, Guest of Line too, and with uh, Commonwealth, etc. So enjoy the game. I hope this uh, tutorial helps you. And uh, well, see you soon, guys.